guys, welcome back to another Daily Devo. We are at Daily Devo 101. Man, I'm so excited that we were able to do Daily Devo 100 yesterday. If you didn't have a chance to check it out, you can go ahead and check up there. I'm gonna let you have a link up there. It's really talking about this most important question you'll ever ask. How do you start a relationship with Jesus? I absolutely loved making this video and I hope that it can be an excellent tool for you guys as well. Well, today for Daily Devo 101, we are going to be checking out Zechariah 13. Now, the question, not really even the topic that I want to talk about today, is I want to, I want to refocus or remake how you see God here. Because so often we can put him in such a small box, but God is so much bigger than this. And you'll see what I mean by this after I read this passage. So let me read this for you. We're going to be looking at Zechariah 13 chapter 1 and I fell in love with this verse and I know you will too. So starting here on verse 1 it says on that day there shall be a fountain opened up for the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to cleanse them from sin and uncleanliness. I love the heartbeat of this message because it looks at this idea of how big and how wide is God's love and patience and kindness towards us. See, so often we can shrink God's love and patience down to us like, like a little squirt. Like I brought this as an example, okay? This is the little bottle that I use to spray my cats with when they're really crazy, okay? But that doesn't really matter. And I would spray you, but my camera's not waterproof. So let's see if this works. So often this is how we can begin imagining God's love for us. It's just like, I bet you can't even see that, but I soaked my door over there. But anyways, we can begin thinking that God's love with us is like a little tiny squirt. His patience with us is a little tiny squirt. His kindness towards us is a little tiny spray that maybe if we're in the right spot at the right time, we might get a little wet, but completely clean, not at all. But what does this verse says? It says, on that day, there shall be a fountain opened. Man, I'm picturing this idea of, have you ever seen those images where like a fire hydrant, something has been knocked off and water is just gushing out like none other. So if you even get close to it, you will be drenched with water. That's the sort of image that I want you to take when you begin thinking about God's love and patience and kindness and everything else towards you. It's not this little squirt that's just maybe I might get clean, maybe I won't, maybe if I'm in the right place, right time, say the right things, I'll be able to get a little wet. No, God's love for you is like a fountain that wants to drench you. God's kindness towards you is like a fountain that just wants to overwhelm you. God's patience with you is a fountain that's never ending. That's how God sees you and loves you and wants to pour out onto you. And so like I said today at the beginning, I want to re-picture God for you in this image. Don't take God's love for you like a little squirt like this. This can be so discouraging. This can be so disappointing. But this, that's not what God is at all. That's not at all who God is. God is so much bigger than that. And his love for you is so much more. His kindness towards you is so much more than that. And his patience is so much more too. God wants to overflow you with this fountain of love towards you. So I hope today that this was an encouraging message. It's such a relief to know that God's love for me and his love for you is so much different than what we can see from any of these other areas inside of our lives. So I want to pray for you here and just encourage you to. So let's go ahead and pray together. Father, I want to thank you for this message. Thank you for your love being so drastically different than anything else that we can see and compare with in our lives. Thank you for having such a great patience towards us and a great kindness. And thank you for the salvation. I absolutely love you, Lord, and I thank you for your love. In your name I pray. Amen. Hey, guys, as always, thanks for watching. And I want you to know Jesus loves you. See ya.